Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Monday, October the 23rd, and here are today's top headlines. A brazen theft at a shoe store in the San Fernando Valley. Thieves casually loading up bags as employees are forced to walk on. We're live with the latest. Safety concerns in Long Beach after residents of one apartment complex experience repeated break-ins and attacks outside their building. And some light rain falling overnight. Will you see more throughout the day? Check your forecast only moments away. A poet and don't know it. Or maybe I do. Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starting right now. Light rain. Good morning Light to you. Rain. I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you're with us. Hope you had a great weekend. Kirk in for both Henry right? and Ginger. Hardest working man. Again, <laughs> poor thing. Happy to do the double duty again. We've got some weather to talk about this morning. along the coast, 76 in downtown LA, 77 in the San Fernando Valley. Again, it's a slight chance of showers everywhere we go. Very light precipitation. We're really only talking about a tenth of an inch or less. Uh, Orange County 73, 73 in the Inland Empire, and 73 in the high desert expected as well. Uh, that is the latest on your forecast at 401. Time now for a check on traffic. Let's begin the morning and the week in Sherman Oaks. This is the 101 South at Haskell Avenue, a two car crash that is blocking the middle lanes. The crash, however, in the final stages as they wait one last tow unit to get to the scene. Obviously, uh, good news for drivers there because that could slow things down as you're making your way to the Sepulveda Pass. Uh, to the Cajon Pass now, the 15 North at Ranchero Road. There was a car that overturned and went down an embankment there. A tow truck has been requested to the scene. Uh, much more details in your morning commute and your forecast coming up. For now, though, at 402, Megan and Chris, back to you. Kirk, thank you. The Israel-Hamas war continues with new Israeli airstrikes on Gaza. Israel has now updated the number of hostages being held by Hamas to 222. Israeli ground forces did limited raids in the Gaza Strip overnight. The terrorist group Hamas says its fighters battled an armored force in southern Gaza and had destroyed Israeli military equipment. Meanwhile, China has deployed six warships in the Middle East as tensions escalate. The U.S. has sent an aircraft carrier along with a battle group to eastern Mediterranean in support of Israel. Washington also assisting Israel with attack planes. And this morning, a third convoy of desperately needed aid entered Gaza from Egypt. It carried food, water, drugs, and medical supplies. All right, now to breaking news from Van Nuys. That is where the LAPD is investigating a flash mob, flash mob style theft at a shoe store. Eight suspects were caught on camera stealing thousands of dollars worth of merchandise before getting away. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live from the scene with more. Aaron, good morning. Good morning to you both. We've seen situations like this happening over the past several months where a group of people, they go into a store and then they walk or run out carrying a lot of items. Well, it happened again last night at this WSS store and several of the thieves were caught on camera. Surveillance video shows quite a few people walking around in the store carrying bags or armfuls of items, including clothing and shoes. Now, at least five people were seen on video, but the LAPD says up to eight may have been participating and the thieves didn't appear to be in a hurry.